Good evening, cats, parents, just teachers. In today's lesson for future master's level, we'll talk about the game uh, uh, Etlinger between uh, Capablanca in 1907. Now, Capablanca won this game with the black pieces. And when we look at this position, of course, the first thing that we can notice is uh, the rook on e2. It is very active. It is supported by the pawn. And this rook is going to be paying uh, a big role in winning this game. Now, what else is important here? Um, uh, we have um, th this pawn on f3. That pawn is, is really um, um, a piece that will decide the game. Now, Capablanca played first move knight c4. And he wants to trade this knight because this knight is protecting the king quite well. So right now, white has a choice to take. That's what happened in the game. And, and we'll analyze also the move knight to five because it's really cool analysis there. Uh, knight e4 um, and uh, knight takes on c4, pawn takes and rook takes. At the moment, uh, white is a pawn up. But black can activate the king. But the king goes forward and um, wants to go to e4 and d3, right? Rook c8, king e4, check, and king, king d3. Fantastic king, right? So the first thing that we are learning from this endgame is the activity of the king that means you can sacrifice the pawn and if you have active king you have a good compensation so white has to take rook e2 check and king e1 and so the question is how to win this game right now so black plays bishop to c7 by attacking uh, this uh, pawn so the only move is bishop f4 now capablanca comes back with bishop a5, he's threatening to take this pawn. Bishop d2 is the only move, and look at this cool move, f4. What a beautiful move. Now, white, of course, cannot take with a bishop, right? Black is threatening to take, or even push the pawn forward, and then f2, right? So, so uh, white has to take, and after bishop d8, Black is winning because the next move is bishop h4, checkmate. And that's how the game ended up. Really beautiful end. Now, let's see what would happen after um, knight c4 and knight f5. Instead of taking on c4, let's analyze this position. King e6. And uh, now black, of course, is taking two pieces, rook d2 and king f5. So that's why white needs to sacrifice the pawn takes and knight h4. Now, white wants to capture the pawn on f3, but there is a move rook f2, king e1. And look at this cool move right now. Bishop to d4, protecting the rook. And after pawn takes, First, you play rook e2 check. Pawns are becoming a queen. Right? White cannot stop both of them. Um, they are becoming a queen. So very, very cool analysis here at knight to five, right? King e6. Okay, one more time. The most important that we learned from this position is the activity of the king in this final position, right? Where the black king gets really activated. And then we saw this beautiful bishop end game, right? Bishop c7. How Capablanca played this bishop d8 move, right? Very nice. And when we analyze the game, this knight the five move, we we uh, we saw this beautiful bishop d4 sacrifice, and then sacrifice of the rook as well, and then uh, c3 and two pawns are winning. Well. That is the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.